This is an extraordinary dress that she's wearing. And what's this white gauzy stuff? that's sort of swirling around her like a cloud. Well, that's very fine fabric. It's, it's wired at the edges, so it gives the effect up there of wings. So it's giving her, as she moves, tremendous sort of presence and consequence. It looks like a sort of personal cloud of dry ice swirling around her wherever she goes. It looks fantastic in the portrait. What it was like in reality, walking around with great wired wings, <laughs> you know, particularly if there was any kind of wind. I guess you'd blow away if the wind got behind you. Well, it wouldn't dry it out, I think. While Elizabeth's incredible dress may have been impractical, it certainly gave her presence. But it wasn't just the colour and shape that had significance. The dress is full of symbolism that an Elizabethan viewer could read like a book. To them, the pearls signified peace and purity. She was supposed to be the Virgin Queen. The bejeweled snake symbolised wisdom. The heart symbolised love. This queen ruled with both heart and head. And she had eyes everywhere. What's going on, for example, with these little eyes? Well, the eyes and the ears. They really are very freakish, aren't they? They are extraordinary. And do you think this is the Queen saying, I can hear everything and I can see everything that you do? It is. Rule of the state, as it were, what? is symbolised by eyes and ears. And what's going on with the rainbow? We know this is the rainbow picture because she's holding this thing that looks like a grey hosepipe. This, at one stage, must have been all the colours of the rainbow, but now they've faded. So we have this little inscription here. The inscription in Latin says, without the sun, you don't get the rainbow. So she is the sun, basically. She is the sun, a very common metaphor for a ruler, and the rainbow is a symbol of peace. And this is really what everybody wants, peace and tranquility. The picture is saying, I've got a heart, I'm wise, I'm wearing a snake, I can hear you and see you with the eyes and the ears, and also, I'm holding a rainbow, I can control the weather. That's a pretty good range of skills and attributes, isn't it? Well, effectively, it is. Elizabeth's dresses were an important part of the Tudor propaganda machine, where the people saw them in pictures or on her progresses around the country, and we know they were important to her from the number she possessed. <laughs> 